Like this idea of like innovation scaling up and working within the existing system. All of these things seem difficult to put a fine point on it. Like uh, Steve, I know you have you have been working in aquaculture and Jessica as well, and this idea of like working within the existing system to bring innovation to maybe a system that is not open to it. Explain, like, I, I know you've been working with Velasso and at Salmon Farms. It's like, can you give a little bit of hint of what's been going on with that? That's, he's the salmon. I'm happy to talk about my work. Uh, okay. with that. <laughs> my bad. That's all right. Well, so for World Wildlife Fund, we're really interested in, in trying to identify the key impacts and, and really minimize those key impacts. So we're talking about not a particular system type, but rather innovating around uh, the idea of actually democratizing innovation. So <clears throat> what we feel is the most important is to focus on the major impacts, quantify them, and then set targets against those performance, uh, performance limits and let, uh, let producers and innovators move to those levels and get beyond them. And one of the key aspects was a, 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 far, a farm started by DuPont Chemical uh, called Verlasso Salmon. And what they did was they took an issue that's really dear to the environmentalist heart, which is the, the, the use of wild fish in feeds, um, and they sidestepped it with a, a protein alternative and reduced the demand of wild fish for their salmon by 75%. And of course, it's proprietary. Right, so how do you take that? Like, how do you take this innovation and convince a company to share it? Is there a way to do that? I think, the, I think the incentives are, 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 are very different for, say, company versus what we'd think as far as somebody that provides research for the public. Somebody that provides research for the public would be something more along the lines of uh, research institutions, government institutions, universities. I think that the incentive to conduct research uh, to develop these innovative solutions for private companies is money and, and profits. And I think we need to accept that. But, I, but, but we also need to recognize those companies because there are other companies out there doing it. There's three other companies trialing this stuff and there's a group called Aquasparks that's funding two of them right now. So I think that when people see that there's a competitive advantage for certain aspects, then other companies will start to move towards that direction. But I think we, we need to be truthful with ourselves about what this uh, capitalistic environment really is.